Today I'm going to be talking about this Zalman 5 channel surround sound headset. This particular one is the USB version and the main difference between this one and its predecessor which is the three 3.5 millimeter inputs is just that it's USB. It's still analog but the USB version now has a volume control in line. Now if you are using Windows 7 make sure to download the drivers directly off the Zalman website. The link will be in the description. Currently the Windows 7 drivers are still in beta, but the drivers also contain the Theater 6 software in them. It's a very small download. Now when we open Theater 6, under our main setting tab, the very first option we have is System Input. Now this can be adjusted from 2 channel, which uses the two center speakers. These headsets have three speakers on each side and no subwoofer. You can choose 4-channel, which will use the fronts and the rears, but not the center. 6-channel, which is what the speakers are designed for, which will use all three on each side. And 8-channel, which is the same as 6-channel. Now clicking on the question mark just brings up this option here that just tells you what each channel is designed for. But since Theater 6 is designed for a lot of different programs, just leave it on 6-channel because that's what your headset is designed for. Now for the moment, let's skip the DSP mode and the 7.1 virtual um, speaker setup, and let's take a look under output mode at analog output. Now this has pretty much the same settings of um, headset, two speaker, four, six, or 7.1. For this particular headset, you just want to leave it on six speakers. Of course, digital audio 48 hertz, that's our only option. The S uh, PDIF output is just for a digital output. It doesn't matter if it's checked or not. And PCM is just kind of like stereo. We just leave that where it is. It's our only option. And if you click on this little hammer next to the six speakers, it gives you an option for different bass settings. Well, this basically doesn't do anything with these speakers, so you can just leave that section alone. Now over to the right of the analog output that we have set at six speakers, you'll see the output device and this little volume control. Click on the volume control and it turns blue. And what this does is it allows you to adjust the volume on each of your six speakers. Of course there is no subwoofer so that won't be affected at all. And when you have this set to six speakers you can adjust each of these individually. The only real reason for adjusting these is if you're doing a surround sound video game or a movie and you think you need the rear channels turned up a little more or center for a little more voice but pretty much it's set up just the way it should be. Now to enable this DSP mode, you click on the hammer right next to the words, and you also have to click on the 7.1 virtual icon, and that will enable this box over here to the right. Now this is the exact same thing that we just looked at. Because this is just the five channel speakers, um, there is no way to adjust these speakers to where you'll hear the sound further or closer to you. All that this does is adjust the volume um, for all of the channels, or you can click on like left channel, this blue box, and move it in closer to you or further away, and that's just going to adjust the volume on that one particular speaker. Here under the mixer tab, there's not a whole lot we can do. If you have your own separate mic with your headset, then you can adjust this. But pretty much the only thing we have to look at is the speaker setting. And this is just basically the same as your volume control that's al already on the cord or down in your task manager. So now on to effect. Now here under the effects tab, first thing we have is in the environment. This is just pretty much where you can set it up to sound like a studio, a car, a room, who knows what. Pretty much I've always found this to be worthless. Just below the, that is the environment size. Now this is important. Um, with this headset, you want to set it all the way to the right, which is a large room. The further you go to a smaller room, it just basically adds echo to everything you hear. And it just does not sound good at all. So keep it over on the right to large room. Setting up the equalizer with this headset makes the biggest difference out of everything and every option that you can choose. Now these are only supposed to go down to 50 hertz, which is bass, and up to 20,000 hertz. Now if you look at the equalizer down on the bottom graph, it'll say 30. What we're doing is adjusting the volume of the hertz by raising the decibels or lowering the decibels. So we start with 30, which is the deeper bass. Bring that up about halfway. 
Um, the second one, which is a higher bass under the 60 hertz, bring that up maybe a quarter of the way. Then from 120 all the way to the right to 2K, we can just pretty much leave that alone. And from 4K, start bringing that up a little bit. 8K, up a little higher. And 16K, bring that up to match the bass that you have at 30. Um, this is pretty much a good overall setting for these speakers. And from this point, you can adjust it to your liking, but this will give you a good starting point. Now underneath the equalizer setting, we have presets. So in case you want it set a certain way, bass, treble, default, basically all of those are junk. They're worthless. What I do is I get the equalizer set where I want it. Then you can click on the user define, which is lit up, and name it whatever you want. So if I want to listen to music, then I have this preset already in here. You can name it whatever you want and have, I don't know how many you can have, probably at least 10 or a dozen. Now underneath the information tab, first thing we have is we have this box. You want to make sure that that is ticked with the check mark so that it will have a icon down in your system tray so that you can open this up at any time and adjust it as you see fit. And the rest of this information here just pretty much tells you about the unit that you have and what it does. Well, there you have it. This should give you a pretty good understanding of how to set up Theater 6 and get your headset sounding pretty decent. Now, it's pretty difficult to set this headset up to sound good with music, but while playing video games, it sounds incredible. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to rate, and if you have any comments or questions, please be sure to leave those as well, or if you see anything that I've left out. Thanks.